some vacationers' idea of recreation means relaxation, pure and simple. Taking in the quiet moment and admiring nature at her best. There is such a corner of the world. Actually, it's an island in the middle of Bay Lake, transformed into a beautiful zoological garden. Discovery Island is a recreation of a tropical rainforest. basically been closed and abandoned as long as I've been alive. All of the original buildings are still here, the attractions, everything is still here. It's just completely overgrown by wildlife, so it's up to us to actually look for things. One of these. See? I told you we'd get there. From the early 1900s, this island was known as Raz Island. It was named after a family that lived there, but it was then changed multiple times before Disney bought it with the idea of naming it Blackbeard's Island. But instead, they changed it to Treasure Island. This attraction would include Disney elements, and they wanted it to be a half-day kind of attraction and more of a relaxed day away from theme parks. It was going to have shipwrecks, pirate ships, waterfalls. It was supposed to be more of a pirate kind of themed island. So fast forwarding to 1974, Disney decided to ditch the whole pirate idea, but keep a few shipwrecks because they already kind of made this pirate themed island and they decided to add tropical birds. They wanted this place to be known as a tropical paradise. They still opened up with the idea of calling it Treasure Island on April 8th, 1974. Now to enter Treasure Island, you need a special ticket called Special Adventure, which you could only access the island by one of Disney resort boats, or you can take a tour of the Seven Sea Lagoons. A few years later though, they changed the ticketing process where it would be included if you bought Disney's annual water park pass or a premium annual pass. By 1978, Disney changed the park name once again and abandoned every pirate themed reference on the island period and they called it Discovery Island. They focused on showing off the island's botanical setting and wildlife, adding in flamingos, pelicans, eagles, and many, many more wildlife to the island. As years gone by, things have been gone smoothly until September 1989 when the state attorney and the U.S. attorney filed 16 charges against Discovery Island. Apparently, the head curator and four other Discovery Island employees were charged with mishandling vultures and other birds, destruction of nests, and even shooting hawks and falcons. But this case was never settled and they kept the place running still. When Animal Kingdom opened up, many people stopped visiting the island and they went to Animal Kingdom instead. It made the island less popular and that's when they closed down this place for good in April 4th, 1999. What they ended up doing was also taking the animals that were remaining in Discovery Island and putting them into Animal Kingdom. What's interesting and strange about this is that, again, when they closed in April 4th, 1999, they never gave a reason why it closed. It became a mystery. They kind of just swept it under the rug as if 
Discovery Island never existed. They never said a single thing about it. And it just sits there. Nothing happens. There's no updates. It's just as if Disney forgot it ever existed, period. People have reasons to believe the island closed because of a bacteria that's in the water. Now, this bacteria killed an 11-year-old boy, but this happened 20 years before they closed. So it's highly unlikely, but it could be some sort of conspiracy where maybe they found that there's still bacteria in the water or... You know, no one knows. Another reason is they think that because of the charges with the way employees handle the animals, and that's why uh, they want to shut Discovery Island down. But then they also think it's simply because Animal Kingdom opened up and they just wanted to ditch this whole thing, period. Again, remember guys, Discovery Island is not open to the public and no one should attempt visiting this island. I'm only documenting what others did. Yep, what is up explorers? Today I am bringing you this video. Yes, if you've seen the title, you clicked here really fast. It's true. This ain't clickbait. We have the world's best footage of abandoned Discovery Island by Disney. But it's not done by me because I actually love Disney. And if I go, I will get banned. And I won't do that. I will never break any laws in Disney or any theme park because I love theme parks. I love Disney. And this footage is not mine. But this footage is the best 4K resolution footage, if not the only 4K resolution footage in the entire planet right here and it's going to be on this channel by Seth and my friend Max. There's links in the description down below. Check them out. I say it, I already, I'm going to say it throughout the video to keep checking them out. They deserve all the credit, not me for this explorer. This is a world's first, guys. It's not a world's first in terms of people going on the island, but it's a world's first because it's an actual filmed well video. It's not just walking around and stuff, just seeing things and leaving. We're actually documenting it. We're going over it. It's all here on Explore with Josh. Check this out. It's like 1.30 in the morning right now. We have been out here trying and waiting for this to be possible since, I don't know what, like 8.30? I don't know how Max did it. The pump was broken and now it's working. Yeah, I had to fix the pump. No, com no complaints. It broke instantly. <laughs> All right, we're like half inflated. This has been a real challenge, but we're almost there. Yeah. That one little island right there with that blinking white light. Yes, that is Disney's abandoned Discovery Island. There could be snakes in here. This is really bad shit, guys. Right here. Oh, this is perfect. Yo, I think we got a launch point. We have to take over capacity, we have to take it over capacity. Alright. How'd you do it? Because you stayed, you stayed the night. Yeah, so this was a real mission, guys. Did you swim it? Like how? No, I mean, what we actually ended up doing was we, we got a raft, an inflatable <laughs> kayak, it was like a hundred bucks, and we blew it up just off um, the shore. I think we rode it over about 50 to 100 yards. It was somewhere in that range over the island. This is insane. It really is. Absolutely insane. We, we went up on the maintenance dock. We pulled the, the yeah. kayak up onto the what thing. What am I supposed to do? And it's in the woods. I'm okay. through the, the woods in the dark. All right, explorers. So I know I look like crap. Everything looks like crap right now. I understand. But just listen, hear me out. You have no idea what we're doing right now. You might have been asking yourself, why are we here at 1.30 in the morning? And that is because we are going to be the first people on the planet to ever camp out on Disney's abandoned Discovery Island. Finally, 
pitched up the whole tent, we moved our boat, we got everything all set, and now it is time to crash the hell out. I mean, I wanted to stay up and try to film some stuff at night, but I'm just, I'm dead. <laughs> it ain't happening. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning, and we are going to explore this entire island. Good night. The night was so long and sleep deprived. We actually froze and only got like three hours of sleep. I would not recommend camping on that island to anybody. Max is over here just chilling in the sun on a towel with a can of Pringles and a big bottle of water. Yep. You know what though, we deserve it after chilling, literally chilling like a frozen popsicle in that tent all night long, bro. Yeah, and this morning. I gotta warm up before I film anything. 100%. Yeah. Yo, when we woke Ooh. up, I was still cold as hell, <laughs> but it felt okay. Like I was fired up and I was really ready to go. You explored the whole day. How long did it take to actually see the whole island? So we got on the island at I think maybe 2 a.m. and we started exploring that same day, like in the morning around 9 a.m. It's just some like gazebo looking walkway type thing. So perfect shelter, we put the tent right underneath. But this is just beautiful, like for abandonment. The fans are still up. Look at this, guys. This looks like it's a canoe turned upside down to be a walkway. Like below it would be the walkway, but above, instead of a ceiling, it's a canoe. I mean, I think that's what it is. A woodpecker? Yo, yeah, right there, guys. Do you see him? Oh, he's flying away. He's right there. <laughs> I've never seen a woodpecker in real life. Oh, this is the alleyway that, that we saw. Guys, this is a really, really cool thing. Look. It's just straight up abandoned. It's a ghost town, literally. God, they kept a boa constrictor in here? Yeah. What? Yo, that's insane. Yo, what if, what if they didn't actually evacuate the animals and Rosie is still on the island? I mean, it's a possibility. <laughs> it could be hiding. I mean, this would be a perfect place for a freaking boa constrictor to live. It's true. I love how it just opens up and goes further down. This is beautiful. I can't believe that these buildings are still standing. Let's go over this way. So many bugs. Look at all of this. These are uh, cages really massive cages for big animals. This tree is huge. Did you see anything that said like Discovery Island on it? Did you see brochures? Did you just, like, yeah, actually we found brochures from the original like opening of the park. And that's it's like amazing. gave all the history, the name of all the, the habitats and the things that you could do. And it gave you like a map of the whole place. That's how we actually got around. Was, was using the actual map? Yeah, because you can't see anything on Google Maps. The thing is basically just a green blob in the middle of Bay Lake. And that's amazing. Yeah. So you're on the island, you're exploring your document. Did you see anything that was like, like that's not announced or that was there that was like something that, that was different? Because remember, we don't know why it closed. So was there anything there maybe that was explaining why it closed? <clears throat> yeah, so like you said, no one knows why it closed. Turns out that Max found this little paper, this memorandum. Yo, Max, can you tell my viewers what you just found? So what I found is a mem memorandum. And they're, it's about the, they're discussing the demolition of this site. This is on June 2nd, 1997. Now Disney, all of a sudden in 1999, just announced out of nowhere that they were 
going to close it. And no one really knows why they closed it specifically. But this is kind of interesting because it shows that they were planning on demolishing this place two years before uh, they just, they announced that they would close the place. So this is kind of like a little minor discovery here. Would you look at that? This is what happens when you come into into rooms and you check things out. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if anybody else knew that, but as far as I know, no one knows. No one knows. <laughs> so guys, there's this room that we're in right now that's surrounded by cages. And I don't know if there used to be a roof over it or not. Either way, the vines have completely overtaken this place. They've just, <laughs> they've just taken it over. Oh wow, I didn't even see this. This is part of a really, really old bicycle. Got these massive bird cages right here. And this is where we entered last night. I'm pretty sure that this is just the maintenance dock. I don't think that this is an actual dock for, you know, visitor guest entrance. But we're going to try to find that one as well. Oh, what the hell is this? Nebraska brand? This looks like the NBC logo. I don't know how this Spectrum company got away with that. December 1999. Last calendar day here. photograph of a family at Discovery Island. Yeah. Is there a date on the back or anything? No. Definitely old though. Yeah, no date. Very cool. This is probably a collector's item right here. Hercules. These are all probably collector's items. Disney bags. Uh, I think this is the bamboo forest. I've never seen bamboo in real life. This is dope. Water fountains, bubblers, the bubbler, it's still there. <laughs> A sad fan. Without that machete, we would be absolutely toast. Yeah. Looking for the trail and we came up to some kind of tower? I don't know, maybe it's like a, like one of the workers towers or something. I'm not gonna climb it. This is the one thing that I won't climb. It just, it's not gonna happen. We got another tower thing right here. This one looks like a straight up hunter's nest. It's actually kind of dope. It's a good picture right there. But we're back on the trail now. And I don't know, I feel safe when I'm on the trail. <laughs> How this just opened up like that. Yeah. Look at the archway. That's super cool. That is really cool. I I love you guys already know if you watch my videos, you know I love when nature takes places over. This is absolute heaven for me right now. Like the vines growing over the wood, the, the ropes in the wood literally turning green because of the fauna rubbing up against it. Look at this, this is beautiful. Yo, this whole thing is collapsed right here. Ugh. Wow. 
Wow. Look at all the leaves that have fallen down on top of the, um, top of the, yeah, the canopy. A big spider web right there, but that's okay, because I'm not getting any closer. Wow, dude, this is awesome. Walking through this canopy right now, trying to get our way around the spiders. Look at this, this, this debris, this decay. Everything's just knocked over. This jungle is absolutely treacherous. Did you see any pirate themed things or shipwrecks maybe? We tried to look for it, but that shipwreck's not there anymore, no. Oh, okay, so. Because that used to be where the beach that they had was. I, I was seeing that, yeah. The beach is completely swallowed by swamplands now. It's completely. No beach. Yeah. You can actually, in my video, you can see the sand of the beach still there. That's but, sick. but it's all covered up by swamp. It's insane. Exactly, guys. You have to check out his video again. He has a really cool channel. Um, Max Powers, too. Shout out to Max Powers Stream Places. His channel's in the description down below. Legit boats have been passing by this river right here. Because, I mean, we're on a lake and we're completely surrounded by water everywhere. But boats have been passing through here this whole time and we're trying our best not to be seen. Look at that swamp land, dude. Yeah. We are right up in the swamp right now, guys. It's insane. Guys, check this out. Bones. These are animal bones. Not a fake, it's legit. I mean, think about it. Animals have been living here. They have to die here too. Or maybe they were eaten. I don't know. Max thinks he found the docks, which I guess is possible. Actually, Max, I think you're right. I think Max finally got us there. I think this is the original docks. You know what I think, dude? I think that they removed the docks from the from the loading area. Yeah. And this is yeah, dude, cuz look, this this is where you would enter the park. This is this is the ticket admission area right here. in the admission area over here and then right behind us over this way this would be the first thing that the guests would see this is the refreshment bar where they would come they'd get their drinks their food all that stuff Check it out, they still got bags and satchels just lined up on the on the wall. Even the moss is starting to grow over these bags. That's crazy. This is so dope. Like there used to be hundreds of people lined up right here where we're standing. Yeah. Trying to get food from these windows. Now it's a jungle. Now it's a jungle, exactly. Ridiculous, it's crazy the way that history plays itself out. I mean, guys, look at this. That's insane. Another one of those weird windows. Well, I think it's alcohol. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Guys, we're literally right behind the concession stands right now. This is what the workers would be seeing. Refrigerator doors must be fully closed. Please make sure this is closed. Thanks, Dawn. I guess the manager's name was Dawn. Wow.
We're back in the little abandoned village looking area and we're gonna travel to the other side of the island now. I have to find that damn incubator. I'm not leaving this island until I do. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I'm not letting that go to waste. All right, we are back at it again. Crawling through the freaking dirt and the mud and the debris and the trees and I don't know, everything. We're on top of a trail right now and nature has literally just completely taken this over. I don't know how we're gonna get through it, but we're gonna find it we and we're gonna, to. yeah, we have to. That's the only option. Let's go. I knew there were vultures on this island. I just didn't know there were dead ones too. This one looks like it died sorta of recently. Poor guy. Look at those two vultures just chilling up on their perch. That's dope. I've never seen vultures in real life. I thought they only lived in like the desert or something. For now we're hugging the shoreline and luckily there's a trail right here that I think we can follow all the way around the island. It's our plan. Oh, it's actually pretty raw. Oh, hell no. This is the sketchiest bridge. Clear up here. Uh. Oh, this sucks. Uh. Now the problem is, I don't even know where the fuck it goes after this. All right, let's just move. I'm stuck. Oh, I see what it was. Uh. Damn it. to the other side of that island. We're gonna do it. So up there is where the ramp continues. But I don't wanna go up there because it's just, it's just getting too high and it's getting too sketchy. So what I'm gonna do is try to drop down from here. And this is the sketchiest. This could collapse at any time, like any time. So you explored this whole island, like, was it worth it? Was it worth all that work getting to it, leaving it? Are you satisfied with it? Because you explore a lot of abandoned places. Was this the most work you had to put to get to a certain place? 100%. And like, what's weird is that, you know, sometimes, you know how sometimes you get ready to do a spot, you know, and like you get nervous, like you get the jitters. Oh yeah. There's, there's a lot of spots out there that will make you like kind of scared of the consequences. And like, I mean, I'm always scared of the consequences, but this spot, I was so confident that I was going to do it and that it was going to just be amazing. So from the beginning, when we bought the raft, knowing that we were going to get on the island to the moment that we stepped back foot on shore, 24 hours after we spent the day and night on the island, after we slept on it. I can't say that I have any regrets. I saw everything on the island, took the, the best pictures, got the best video, in my opinion. I don't mean to be cocky. It's just I know for a fact, like, <laughs> I did something that not anyone else right. on this planet has done. That's true. And I, I have no regrets. This is the one explorer that I'm the most proud of. Like, this is how you feel about Battleship Island. This yeah. is how I feel about Discovery Island. Well, that's a good way to put it. And guys, if you don't know Battleship Island, Battleship Island is off the coast of Japan. It's almost impossible to step foot on and walk on it, so it's pretty cool. I remember seeing this on the internet and being like, I've never seen anything like this before. I have to see it for myself in real life. And here I am standing on Disney's abandoned Discovery Island, literally staring right at this damn incubator. I'm just gonna call this building the Jurassic Park Laboratory Building. There's this incubator which was used for 
some sort of reptile or bird, which is pretty cool. But the rest of this place looks literally like the Jurassic Park, uh, one of the Jurassic Park labs from uh, Jurassic Park 3. It's just, it's very eerie. It's on an island, just like the one from Jurassic Park. Nah, but in all seriousness, if I had to guess what this was, it was probably a vet's office for any of the injured animals that were here. I only say that because of these file cabinets right here. So that's probably what this place actually was. It was probably a veterinary station. This is one thing I'm wondering. When you left the island, did like, or even going to them, did like anyone see you? I mean, did you get caught at all? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but uh. not, not that I know of. I mean, it was actually crazy when we left the island because we were waiting around for like maybe an hour. Like... Because there's moment. boats yes. that go by. There's oh, passenger yeah. boats in security boats. The security boats are obviously just you know doing their rounds. The passenger boats are going on the tours of the lake, and they can see the island from their tour. But like we had this one open window around like 8 p.m. or something like that, and as we were rowing our boat back to where we started, the fireworks started going off over the lake, <laughs> and it was so beautiful. It, it oh, absolutely man. it felt like I was in a fairy tale. That's it literally amazing. felt like I was in a Disney movie and that like this was the perfect ending to the perfect explore. It was insane. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Explorers, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's a bit different from my other videos because for the first time, I'm not actually exploring. And that is why we're gonna give a huge shout out again to Max and Seth for doing that. Um, I thought this was magnificent. I, again, top 10 explorers. I wish I can do it. I wish I did it, but I had to step this one out. Um, I do have merch, guys. Check it out in the link's description down below. Here's one of my sweaters I'm wearing. Uh, it's Nara Dreamland. If you watched if you watch my video, Nara Dreamland, actually, it's an abandoned theme park. It's my favorite abandoned place ever. And that's why I was like, I'm, I'm dedicating a sweater after that theme park. There's a lot more to it, but the whole merch is called Rise Above. Uh, link in the description down below. We have windbreakers, sweaters, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts with the highest quality ever. I don't even consider this a YouTube store merch. I really don't at all, guys. It's made really well. All right. It's made with the highest quality. So anyways, guys, without further ado... Thanks again for watching. Thanks for the support. Stay inside, guys. Stay quarantined. The coronavirus is here, and we're just all just trapped. But it is what it is. So let's just stay safe. So without further ado, again, rise above. Just get out there, explore. Peace and thanks for watching. Wait a minute. Actually, I can't say just get out there and explore for the first time because we actually aren't allowed to go outside. But you get what I mean.